Hey, gang. Life 22 here. Wow, well, Kevin here, Life 22. Um, and we've got one more letter. I think it's just one more letter. God, let's hope it's just one more letter. All right, perfect. One more letter sealed and addressed to me. This one's Cattaraugus County Jail, dated November 13th. Oh, yes, because then we'll release the bonus footage. So, it's the Life 22 show again. The new prosecutor is on my side now. Progress. Only in police officer Pavlock is likely to get a subpoena into Donald Trump Judge John Sinatra's courtroom when I am back home again soon because Katie Valentine's Valentine's uh, New York State Trooper documented schizophrenia slash on drugs couch theft ways are going to be cracked down on. So go put your Luke Skywalker Star Wars shirt on again and play the People's Court theme song in the background on Life 22 because I'm being serious when I say only in police officer Pavlock is getting a subpoena into Donald Trump's John Judge John Sinatra's courtroom when I am back soon. And that is underlined. I love his I love the idle threats of ramblings. It's like this is like reading Dostoevsky, you know, like it's like reading Crime and Punishment. Amos Krauss is one of many people watching over my house while I am like this. He needs help with fixing furnaces this winter. Just pay him cash. My mother, Janet McCall, gives piano lessons and knows how to directly reach Amos. So call her at 716-904-0849 and make money taking the used old satellites off her roof for scrap metal money. Her post office address and county road markers don't have the same numbers, so Matt Keller needs to get on that. Like, the lunacy. Like, <laughs> like... They are violating my father's Third Amendment rights by forcing him to do things he can't afford to do. All John Crawford ever did was embezzle money for the sidewalk outside his house, and then he used city money to fake a doctorate's degree in bioeconomics. Oh, Bidenomics. Luke, you really need to, like, if you're, like, sending letters, you could, like, this chicken scratch shit's got to go. Bidenomics from Hofstra, Hofstra University? John Crawford never did money-making business with my father, and now Siemens Dresser Rand is squeezing lemon juice into milk cartons, calling themselves a factory. This national prosecutor doesn't give a shit about that Melissa Ensel's 12th cousin is Buttfuck County Dist uh, DA, so this national prosecutor in my case is also going to help us figure out why did Barry Broughton practice medicine without a license. I am not kidding, nothing but only in federal law violations all over the place. And once I get them to stop violating my father's Third Amendment rights, I'm making all the federal law breakers in Olean fall over like bowling pins. And Olean police officer Pavlock gets a subpoena into Donald Trump's judge John Sinatra's courtroom because Katie Valentine sugar bitches off everyone and she steals everyone's couches. And so the people need court documentation of this police affair going on with Katie Valentine. 
There's a second page. I don't know I'm gonna make it, folks. Like, just half this shit's nonsense. Like, I know, like, half the insinuations that he's making into half of these people, like, I don't know anything about his dad. I know John Crawford very well, and I know where he's working very hard. He doesn't even have his doctorates yet. He's, I, well, I mean, he may in the next, you know, um, whatever period of time, but I know he was working on his doctorates. So how is he faking something that he doesn't declare to have um, when you go back to school for your doctorate? So, like, just just nonsense. Barry Broughton is, a, is like, he's, he started his career in the military, and he be, he's, he's a medic. You know what I mean? Like, you, you, you're practicing medicine without a license. Like, I, So I don't know where half these claims are coming from. I don't know what he's talking about with Officer Pavlock. Uh, he loves throwing Doc, uh, Donald Trump in with the judge. So I'm guessing he he appointed the judge, um, Katie Valentine. Like if she's stealing people's couches, like she must have a warehouse, because like Luke makes it sound like she's starting her own like Raymore and Flanagan's or something. Uh, but to the next page, I just I couldn't go without oh, I couldn't go without uh, like at least commenting. So Andrew and Christy at the Buffalo FBI are going to start giving FBI helicopter rides at the Winkyville reunion next year too. I am fucking certain that is not happening. FBI agents just stealing helicopters to give your family helicopter rides. You must be that intriguing. At least they're just playing into your delusions, which is also something I would do at work if I was jammed up with you all day. So, Winkyville is American history, but ever since COVID hit, they became white trash. Let that sink in for a minute. Peggy Bergstrom wreaks, ha wreaks havoc on every Winky marriage that ever happened, and she is a homewrecker thief, homewrecking thief lying to the Olean police on a constant basis. I had to be asked if I am good with Andrew and Christy at the Buffalo FBI, and I said yes. My two years of bullshit is not their fault. Watch me get them to help with cracking down in Olean's junkie stuff Kathy Patch always talked about. All that Alexis Costanza ever did was get Olean addicted to fentanyl so we can help Dakota make Domino's a more efficient place by getting Andrew and Christy at the Buffalo FBI after Alexis Costanza, Dakota next door to me will be happy to hear about this. I am not, this is the next paragraph, this, I am not a has-been. He's not. He wants you to know that he's not. He's not a has-been. The shit talkers of Olean Warzone are has beens. He wants you to know that. Uh, it is me who remembers Kathy Patch's Olean concerns. It is me who is becoming so goddamned federally networked. I will network everyone to fix Olean's shit. The federal probation officer can also help bring back 24-7 Walmart. Watch! <laughs> what? <laughs> Nonsense. Like, I miss 24-7 Walmart, too. Like, let's, let's not... Let's not dwell on the past, though. Like, I doubt the probation officers that are talking to 
Luke Winky are going to call the descendants of San Walton and open Walmart back up pre-COVID. One more paragraph. I think I now also see Michael Crick of Salamanca zoning board becomes mayor of Salamanca. He was more cold. He didn't write that, but he's alluding to it. He knows very intimate details of my situation since July of 2020. So bullshit. I'm a has been Melissa Ensel's butt cheeks. Fat cells need to be the has been's. See, oh, big letters, big letters, folks, right here at the, the courtesy. Oh. See everyone soon. Trump 2024 law and order legalize meth, though. I mean, this, I mean, this, this sounds like the ramblings of a sane individual, don't it? I can't imagine. Uh, P.S. Paul Kenyon and... Angel Lisette were 56 and 15 when they first got together. Okay, thanks, Luke. Luke Winky, permanently former, just permanently former Cattaraugus County Libertarian Chairman. Well, I hope you're all smarter and wiser by another tale from the, the crypts of Cattaraugus County Jail. We'll see you guys next time. Life 22 for another installment of The Luke Files.